Hello everybody, welcome to my Laravel tutorial series. In this video series, I'm going to be covering all the basics and fundamentals of Laravel so you guys can start building your own web applications. So first thing first, before we get started, some prerequisites for this tutorial series. I assume you guys are already familiar with PHP and know your way around it, how to, you know, the basics as well as the object-oriented PHP. And next up, I also assume you guys have some sort of a web server up and running or at least have PHP installed on your system as well as some sort of relational database. So uh, I assume you guys have something like MariaDB or maybe MySQL. Both of those are fine. Uh, it's not that important for this project, but just make sure you have those installed. But if you don't and you're on Windows, you can use something like XAMPP and it's going to install both PHP, uh, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin for you guys. It's very easy to use. I don't recommend it for Mac. It's a little bit weird. It doesn't work as well. Just make sure you install PHP 8 if you don't already have that. Uh, another alternative is something called Dorogan. It's also pretty good. I personally haven't used it that much, but uh, it's also a, another alternative. So if you're on Windows, I recommend XAMPP. It's very easy and it just works out of the box. So that's pretty good. Uh, one more thing we need before we get started is you guys need to install something called Composer. So Composer is a dependency manager for PHP similar for like to npm for node.js or javascript but if you guys haven't used it uh, it's going to help us install packages and libraries all right so and we need it to work with laravel all right if you don't have it just go google composer php you'll find a page like this i'll have the link in the description as well click on the download link here and it's going to open up a page like this just follow the instructions here and install Composer. It's relatively easy. You only need to do two steps, basically run this command, or you can do another alternative manual installation. Up to you which one you want to follow. But if you have any issues, you can always leave a comment down below or YouTube install Composer and you should be good to go. So now let's start setting up our Laravel project. Let's get into it. So if you guys go on the Laravel website and click on the documentation on the top right where my mouse is, uh, will be directed to the installation page and installing Laravel is actually very easy if you have all the things I just mentioned there is this little command composer create project Laravel slash Laravel and then this example app is the name of your application I'm just going to copy this go on my web uh, IDE and I'm going to run this command that we just copied so it's going to be composer create project Laravel example app let me close this second terminal so it's not on the way and just basically at the end put your application name so i'm going to call this one tutorial one because this is our first tutorial so i'm just going to run this and composer will go ahead and get all the information so as as of now i think the latest version of laravel is laravel 9.3.2 as you can see here so composer is going to basically go ahead and download uh, laravel for us it usually takes about a minute or two depending on your internet speed, maybe even faster. And I think for me, it's finished already. All right, awesome. So now that it is finished, I'm just gonna clear the terminal. If you guys look on the left, we have a new folder called tutorial one, and it has a bunch of folders inside it. You don't need to worry about what they mean. I'm gonna cover that on the next episode, but just to make sure our application is working, go ahead and inside your terminal, use cd to change your directory to the new directory or the project directory which is tutorial one and run the following command php artisan serve now uh, php is pretty straightforward so we're going to be using php artisan is a laravel tool that ships with laravel and it's going to help us do a bunch of cool stuff we're going to have a separate episode for artisan but as of now artisan has a built-in web server so uh, all we have to do is just call PHP artisan and serve and it will automatically serve our web application for local development only So I'm just gonna run that and as you can see it's telling us Info server running at the following address so you guys can just click on that and it will open your browser So I already have it open right here as you can see 127.0.0 uh, That's the IP address, which is basically the local address and Voila, you guys should see something like the following that I have here. Now, every now and then Laravel changes the, the screen. It used to be different, I think back in Laravel six days, 
but it should look something like this that says Laravel with some, you know, details about your Laravel version and your PHP version. And if you have something like this going on, that means your installation was successful and we can continue going to the next set of episodes. If you guys have any issues, leave them in the description below, sorry, in the comment section below, and I'm going to help you guys out. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. See you.